So, for my thing, I decided to do a bit of safe drone safety and a bit of, bit of a, I guess you could call it a tutorial on the Mavic Mini. So, first is safety, obviously. You, you have to check to make sure you're not close to an airport. You can't be, by law, you cannot fly close to an airport. Depending on your area, it could be anywhere from five feet to nine to ten feet, or and anywhere. It depends on your area, and that's to ensure that your drone doesn't interfere with airplanes or any official businesses. Um, and then for say for hard hats, you don't necessarily need a hard hat. That's only if you're in a construction zone. But it's a good idea to have a hat because if you have hair, then there is a chance that the drone will get tingling into it. And now for the Mavic Mini. This drone is very powerful for its size. It comes with these guards to help protect against, well, fingers, and especially for little kids. And you, there's no age limit to flying a drone. It's just when licenses do start being applied, there that is um, something that's gonna affect they, that that will affect age limit. So real quick, I'm going to show you how to put your drone and make your drone operational. So first, you always check your battery. Your your drone kit. So your drone kit should have a charger, and to check the battery on your charger, there's a little button on the side. You just press it once, and it shows you. Four bars, if they're all at up, 100%, three, three is 75, two is 50, one is 25. And then, so you put your battery in. It's easy, you just, you, you, you take your battery, you insert it, you have to make sure you insert it the right way. There's a little, I guess you could call it teeth, that it goes into. You have to make sure that you hear, it's not only a click, but you just, a little snap, and then you close it back. Make sure your SD card is in the, it, is inside, because you need that for information. Make sure that it clicks as well. Then, first, you Put out the front propellers. If not, you could snap your antennas and then it's not going to fly. Then you whip out your, uh, your back legs. Oh, and something else that's important. If you're going to add the guards on, you're going to have to get it registered. For the registration, you have to put your certification number on there. It, but you don't, you don't have to put the serial number and the expiration dates and issue dates. It's just helpful to law enforcement and so on, so if you do. Then, you, you snap on your guards. You place it in the appropriate slot, and then you wait, hear that little click. That's how you know you did it correctly. Like that. Then you take your phone, you use the appropriate plug. It has three plugs for different phones. You plug it into the controller using the connector. Then what's recommended is you turn on the app first and then you power up your drone and controller. But what I like to do is first I like to Turn on the controller to check the battery on this, which you should always do first. You press it quickly, and it shows you full bars means 100%. And then to turn it on, you press it quickly, and then you hold it. Then you you should hear a beep. Same thing for the drone. Press once to hear, see the battery. Then you hold it. And then express. Then you have to, 
There's a bee. You have to pair it. Usually when it first comes out of the box, it doesn't come paired. So what you do, take both your drone and your controller, you hold the button, and you wait for the beep. Did you hear a little beeping sound? There you go. It, that means it's pairing. You don't want it to connect to someone else's drone. That would be bad. So it's good to pair, just in case. That beep means it's, it's connected. Then you turn on your phone, you open the app, which is called DJI Fly. It should ask you if you want to always handle when it's connected to the car. Or you can choose whether or not you always want the app to open with it, but I don't I want it, I don't check it just in case. Then because you've already have it connected, it should automatically have the go fly. Make sure you have your profile set up, of course. Then you press that, and there you go. That's how you set up your drone. Thank you.